Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the clutch bearing on your tiller, make sure the engine has cooled and the on-off switch is in the off position. Now use a 5 16th inch socket to loosen the flange bolt, securing the engine assembly to the transmission housing. Detach the throttle cable retaining clip. Lift off the engine assembly and set it on a sturdy surface. Use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the bolt, securing the engine flange. Lift off the flange and use a large gear puller to remove the clutch drum and bearing. Insert a large bolt and nut into the clutch drum and bearing, then use a small gear puller to separate the old bearing from the clutch drum. You're now ready to install the new clutch bearing. Align the clutch drum in the bearing. Now insert a bolt, nut, and washer through the clutch drum and bearing. Slide additional washers onto the bolt and thread a second nut. Use a socket and wrench to tighten the nut to fully seat the drum in the bearing. Remove the outer nut and washers so you can insert the bearing into the engine flange. Slide the washers back onto the bolt and re-thread the nut. Tighten the nut to fully seat the bearing in the flange. Unthread the nut and remove the bolt and washers. Replace the flange on the engine assembly with the flange bolt facing the fuel tank. Thread and tighten the bolts to secure. Reposition the engine assembly, making sure there is no gap between the flange and the transmission housing. Tighten the flange bolt to secure. Secure the throttle cable with the retaining clip and the repair will be complete. 